Okie dokie, I have holes lined up. You wanna see this, John? Absolutely. You reckon these look, uh, look pretty good? So what I need to do is I need to center punch these holes. Do it. You're gonna need to just back off. I need to be in the act. No, no, I wanna to see. No, no. You gotta move this way, please. If I'm gonna understand your mastery, I need to be Listen, in the John. action. Listen here. <laughs> I'm a blacksmith. Do you know what that means? I don't. Do you know who I think I, I am? I don't. I feel like getting shorter each <laughs> moment. <laughs> it's so intimidating. I need to send a punch to this. I'm sorry! Almost out of the 5.56. Five, what do you think about you guys not selling 5.56 or pistol ammo anymore? Honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, it's a corporate scheme. They don't want to be liable for any, anything. Did you know you can chop Sportsman's Guide and use code MORPOET to start saving money on ammunition like 9mm and 5.56? Yeah, you can do that. So now you know that. What's happening, folks? I'm joined with Alex Steele. Hey, man, we always shake hands at the beginning of a video. Well, like a good handshake, it's it's good. It means, I don't know what it means. I don't have anything funny to say. We don't know what handshakes mean, but it's fantastic that you guys joined in. So today, what we're going to do is attempt to forge the clinch pick right here. Alec, one of these things? Alec picked me up from the airport yesterday. We're in Montana, we're out at his facility, and uh, he happened to show this to me immediately, like right as we're leaving the airport, and I was overjoyed. I couldn't believe. I had no idea. I think it's you a, got it's, this. It's a cool little thing, and so you want to make one of these. It is a weird concept. This is the clinch pick. You'll see the edge is on the top. A goofy design, but it's built more for how fights usually go when a bad guy ambushes. It always ends up being this up on top of you kind of wrestling match where somebody comes in. I'm very and scared stabbing right Stabbing and ripping and somebody tries to grab your hand and you're able to rip out and it ends up cutting things to ribbon. But typically fights will end up really close up against something as the bad guy runs you into a corner and sewing machine and he's a <laughs> knife fight. Knife rounds! No touchy! <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sticky stabby things. And that's what we're doing. So you guys get to come along the process. Small amount of time. I suck at blacksmithing, so this may turn out terribly. But it's time to forge. Let's do it. Alright, get the fire lit. Woo! It's just, I see it in my head, I watch you and I'm like, oh, it's so simple. And then I suck and I'm like, oh, well, I'll, I'll fix that suck with this, double suck. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I'm for real this time. Triple suck. <laughs> so that's the story so far of this guy's blacksmith. So it's just like this side, right? Beautiful, that's exactly on the money. Uh, these little portions here where the corners of your material have swelled out, yeah. we need to plane those back down. Okay. So next thing what I'd like you to do is come in, flat side of your hammer, and gently flatten all this down. That looks good to me. And you brought it down from quintuple suck to no suck at all. No. You've done a fantastic job and I'm just very thrilled. Good, awesome. That was fun. We sell these on our website. We really love the utility for fighting and whatnot, so check them out on the website, but it isn't about that. It's about me attempting to forge one of these, and we have a compressed amount of time, huh? 
What's the time hack for this? Like three minutes, not the quite. <laughs> we have a very short amount of time. I can't count high enough to know how much time it is that we have, Yeah. It, but it's a small amount of time. So we've got a project going on right now. It is an incredible zombie slayer monstrosity. It's brilliant. It is Will, brilliant. Who, uh, who works with us, is in there. He's grinding on it, making it look beautiful and fantastic. We'll have a link down below if you want to check that video out. It'll be on Alex's channel, and we'll have a piece of it on another one of mine. So those will be down below so you can check it out. I did this. Alec fixed it just a tiny bit. I straightened it. You straightened it. I could not straight. Every time I hit it to straighten it out, I made it more wonky. So. Good black, good blacksmithing. Thank good you. Good job. I appreciate that. <laughs> so we're gonna run into the grinding room and make some dust. Cool. Hold on, safety glasses. All right, go. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yes. Very, man, that is really cool toy. Yes, that this is, is what, a uh, this fully semi-automatic center punch. A fully semi-automatic. <laughs> we have this screwed down to drill it and hopefully not send a knife throwing everywhere. Um, I don't know what this is doing. This, this is, is my contribution. I wanted to participate. You're welcome. Very good. We have our holes. We have our edge. Put a little bit of an edge right there just for kicks to make it a little special because it's our design. I actually really only care about the top edge. Uh, that's what I have on mine. I am very content with that, but why not just for kicks? We've got to heat this up with a torch to make it as fast as possible. We have fancy heat treating ovens, but we're gonna do it fast. The concept is we heat it up to a red heat, okay? About 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're then going to quench it in oil. You saw us, you actually did this I on did the this. Zombie Slayer 2000 last night. I did this. Check the, out those videos. The just, I would love you to hold that in your hand. Right, I'm very like this. Um, and you just stay right there, okay? Um, and We hardened the blade. The blade becomes a very brittle, also very hard. We want to rein back some of that brittleness yes. by tempering it. So we're going to heat it to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And we can see that it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit by a light straw color appearing on the polished Got metal. It. You see I, that happening right at the I tip do. right I'm there? I do. I'm noticing this is quite a long process. Yes. Oh, process, you mean. I mean, I mean, process. It's very well enunciated. You, you put your fingers like this, pinky up. Pinky up, always. Process. All right, guys, so we've polished it up, given it a shine, and now before we put a really tight edge on there, we're gonna put a handle. Will, we've uh, gone with red wood. It is a... So it's gonna be pretty different from this. It's a, it's a very dense South African hardwood. Should do extremely well. It'll hold up very well, and it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. put the final touches on our homemade clinch pick. So Will in fact finished off the handle on this and that is your clinch pick. You forged this, you hardened it. From That's the... pretty exciting. Wow. This is amazing. Man, I really love that we went with the red wood right here. Incredible, pretty grain. That blade is awesome. Very, very sharp. It fills the whole palm, which is what you want in this. Big palm swell right there, so that you're able to stab and rip and all kinds of pokey stabby things. I love it. It's fantastic. Very good. Thank you. What's my absolute pleasure. It was a huge amount of fun to work together on it. It's a thrill to have you here. Guys, we've done about three different videos with Alec. One more on our YouTube channel and two on his. So if you haven't checked him out before, he's doing all kinds of crazy projects, amazing videography, and I encourage you to check him out. I'll have links down below for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Train hard and train smart. We will see you next time.